Hey, I'm Andrew Connell. This video is an overview of one of the chapters in my course, Mastering the SharePoint Framework, that's available for uh, purchase on my site, Voitanos.io. This overview video is going to give you an idea of everything that the chapter uh, covers. You can learn more by checking out the description uh, in the notes below the video. Um, if you got any questions about this chapter or about the course in general, just make sure you drop a comment uh, below in, in the uh, below the video and I'll be sure to get back to you. So with that, let me get out of the way. Enjoy the overview to this chapter. You are frequently going to run across a requirement in your project where you need to leverage external data in your SharePoint framework solutions. Maybe you just need to read to that data. Other times you may need to edit and write to that data in these external APIs. In this chapter, we're going to look at how the SharePoint framework is set up to enable you to leverage these external data solutions inside of your custom SharePoint framework solutions. Now, maybe that data lives in the SharePoint REST API. Maybe it lives in a third party API. And maybe that third party API is secured either using like something like with the SharePoint REST API or with the Microsoft Graph, or maybe it's some third party API. No matter where the data is, the SharePoint framework provides all the tools that you need to address these various solutions. So I want you to think of this chapter as the first of many chapters in this course on this topic. Other chapters may explore very specific APIs, such as the SharePoint REST API or the Microsoft Graph. But in this chapter, I want to focus on how to call these generic third-party APIs from your SharePoint framework solutions and as well as how to deploy a custom REST API using Azure Functions and even how to secure it with Azure AD. So let's go over the lessons that what you're gonna find inside of this chapter. So we're gonna start off with understanding how to leverage an external API inside of a SharePoint framework solution and how this whole thing works. We're gonna then look at understanding the SharePoint framework's approach to calling third-party APIs and third-party services. And then we're going to look at how we can call these anonymous or open APIs using something called the HTTP client that's part of the SharePoint Framework API. Now we're going to start diving into some demos that are all going to be about calling these open APIs with the HTTP client. I'm first going to start out by showing you how to use Azure Functions to deploy a very simple API. It's really simple as an Azure function so that you can call it from your SharePoint Framework solution. And then we're going to create a SharePoint Framework solution that is going to use the HTTP client to get data from this third-party API that's living in an Azure function. Then I'm going to switch over and we're going to talk more about how the SharePoint Framework deals with calling a secured API and how the underpinnings of all the code actually works. We're going to see the infrastructure that Microsoft has given us. And then we're going to see how we can create our own. So I'm going to show you how to create a, take a simple SharePoint REST API and deploy it as an Azure function. And then we're going to secure it with Azure AD. And then I'm going to show you how to create a custom SharePoint framework solution that is then going to use a special API in the SharePoint framework called the AAD HTTP client and use that to call our secured endpoint and how you can use that to call other secured endpoints that are secured with Azure AD. Now, this chapter can't go into every single scenario that we're going to cover in terms of calling these external APIs. So as you'll see, when we get to these secured APIs, there are some scenarios where we can't address some things. But the nice thing is the SharePoint framework has given you all the tools that you need in order to call these different endpoints. And however, some third parties secure their endpoints, you may need to have to figure out you know, exactly what they do, what their requirements are, but the nice thing is the SharePoint framework gives you all the tools you need to solve that requirement. So let's go ahead and get started with the first lesson. 